The workers are demanding a 10% salary increment and also want transport allowance be adjusted to $200 in this current financial year. They further want housing allowance be increased with 35%. Employees have over-tolerated continued enslavement, disrespect, ill treatment, and operating in an environment non-conducive to peaceful concentration and yes. hindering performances. Yes. NIP employees are tired yes. of being taken for granted and decided that enough is enough. Yes. Hence, we demand that NIP complies with the agreement. The workers also express disappointment in the board of directors. Based on ill advice, NIP board failed to take decisions that direct NIP management to act in compliance with statutory laws, labor legislation, and own policies, thereby subjecting the company to risk. NIP, according to the workers, is also faced with challenges such as laboratory tests being discontinued, suppliers not being paid, and no regions at the laboratories, among others. The company is under-resourced to the point of lacking basic critical necessities which put its core laboratory services at risk of poor delivery and non-delivery altogether. This under-resourcing places NIP at unfair completion with non-Namibian laboratory services at, and limit NIP service expansion to all remote areas of the country. Berta Kashivena is the Deputy Executive Director in the Ministry of Health and Social Services, received the petition. On behalf of the Ministry, I'm receiving your petition and I'm making sure that it will reach the intended person it was addressed to. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The company's secretary, Gibson Imbili, could not be reached for a comment. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.